Next question is from Gabs is rad. With all this extra yeah. time, I find myself trying to fill my day with activity. Is it too much to be doing yoga, long hikes and walks and a strength training workout every day? No, I don't think so at all. No. It's, I think all those actually complement each other really well. They do. Now, can they be too much? Well, yeah. If mm. your yoga is extreme intense, if your hikes and walks are extreme intense, and then your strength training is crazy intense, probably too much. And so now what does that mean? Depends on the person. Mm -hmm. If you are new to this and you know you're, you're, you weren't very fit going into this, then you're going to have to really lower the intensity of a lot of these things because it is a lot of activity. If you've been doing them for a long time, um, then you can probably train a little yeah, harder. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, I mean, it, it depends on what you're doing right before this. So if you were at a you know very high level, um, and and this is just to maintain uh, somewhere close to even the the amount of activity that you were doing before this. Uh, that's just, I mean, that that should be just fine to add strength training to that as well. It's just a matter of like if you're trying to add all this uh, right now, and you know before that you had a desk job where you're where half the day you're sitting down, and then all of a sudden you know you're strength training, but now you want to cram like yoga, you want to cram hiking, running, everything else all in one day. You know that might be a little too much volume for you. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you guys a little bit. Uh, I I would be okay with 99% of my clients giving me this. Now they have to do them right though. Right. Yeah. I mean, I when I when I hear yoga, long hikes, and walks, I don't see sprinting. You know, marathon. I mean, that's not like long hikes. If your if your hike is like a just a you know slight incline and yeah, you're, level one. Yeah, it's not great. Like you're not you're not you know, climbing Everest right now. Yeah. And, and that like and yoga is really going to complement uh, for sure the strength training. So if you're strength training, yoga is the nice the opposite as long as it's not. Yeah. You if it's know, not cardio. It's more like neat. Then yeah, I have no problem. Well, have you, have just, you guys ever done power yoga? Well, I, I mean that's that can be too right. Much. And if they said that power yoga hiking, you know, uh, you know Everest and sprinting and then strength <laughs> training, I would definitely go like. Don't. But I mean, honestly, a lot of people probably need this. Yeah. Because they were even if they didn't have a you know quote unquote really physically active job like construction or something like that, and they were just moving though around the office and 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 moving like we like we we were just explaining in the intro. You know, dude, I, I actually need about all of that just to kind of be close to what I was doing before. Yeah, no, I see. What it's, it really goes down to this. Like, You have to listen to your body. If yeah. you apply all of those appropriately and complementary to each other, you're going to be totally fine. If you go into it, because here's why I said what I said. The people that I know that do yoga, hiking, and lift and, and resistance training every single day uh, all the time, the people that I know do that are the kind of people that overdo shit. Mm -hmm. That they go hard at all of it. Yep. And that's why I said what I said. If you're going to do all of those, you got to be smart about it. The way that I would approach this is the yoga would be gentle. The yoga would be would be focused on yeah. you know, flexibility and stability, and it would be rejuvenating. That's what my yoga would feel like. My hikes and walks would also be rejuvenating, enjoying the outdoors, just moving and feeling good. The resistance training is where I would apply a little bit more intensity. That's how I would piece that together. Well, and I day. and I read it that way. That's why I feel that. Sure. Like I, I mean, when I hear yoga by itself, long hikes and walks, I, I don't. I don't read intensity. I what I read is somebody who now has eight hours a day. They're not probably yeah, they're working. Just moving now. So. Yeah, and 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 those choices because. What can happen is, and what I can see myself some days happen is like, I literally don't leave a couch almost all day long. And this would be great. I would yoga, spend a yoga for an hour, then go take a nice long hike for an hour, then go for a 30 minute walk yeah. a couple times a day. And then I have a strength training episode or strength training, uh, uh, you know, session. session. I mean, th that to me is phenomenal and Dude. for most people should be able to handle that. I've been I've been mm. in some yoga classes though that are just like, "Oh, this is this is designed to be strength training. You guys are trying to turn yoga into strength training." Or I've done hikes. Jessica's taking me on hikes. I'm like, "This is a whole Oh yeah, you level. Can, uh, Mission Peak is a, an intense yeah, hike, right? That's yeah. a, that's an intense hike. It's a local hike that's pretty intense and that every day I think would be a lot on this. And honestly, I mean, I, I'm pro yoga, but I'm more pro mobility. We have a free webinar that's going right now. I would push. I would rather see my client doing that every day, so we can actually fix some issues that they're having. Yoga is great for relaxing and stretching the body, and I think it. I think there's a, a, that's awesome. But I would way rather see if this person's putting this much effort and time into their body and their health. 
uh, mobility should be in there, which is more specific to what you need to be doing. And if you don't much understand, more individual, if you don't understand what that is, that that's why we have a Prime Compass where you take a test and then it tells you what you need to do. And then Prime Pro is all the correctional. Actually, stuff. you can go to mind, mindpumpwebinar.com and you can actually take a free mobility class from Adam. I think it's like forty-five or fifty minutes long. You could try that and follow his cues and see for yourself.